you had an interview with BTN earlier this year, Coach, I'm not sure if you saw it or not, but they asked Joe to tell him one thing maybe people don't know about you. And he said you might be a little bit of a pretty boy. Joe, Joe are you standing by that statement now that you're sitting next to each other? <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, I think I would stand by it. Um, there's not a lot that people don't know or, or uh, haven't read about him, but um, for me, I have another side of my family that's very outdoorsy. I remember as a kid um, asking my mom, well, well why doesn't uh, Grandpa Barry ever go hunting? Because that's something my dad likes to do. And uh, my mom was like, uh, can you see him hunting or fishing? Like, he, he'd rather spend the day in the spa or something like that. <laughs> well, I've never been cl classified a pretty boy before, <laughs> but I do like the spa. He's correct <laughs> on that. Um, I can be pampered. <laughs> I can be pampered. Joe, what's your first football memory of your grandpa? I remember when I was real young, uh, coming with my dad to practice when he was still coaching. And I saw him yelling at players, swearing at players, and I remember- Not yeah, swearing. Not swearing, of course, but- Never do uh, that. Never do that, but uh, I asked my dad, like, well, why is grandpa like yelling at all these people? And he's like, uh, well, the football field's the, the only place you can do that at. Coach, what's your first football memory of Joe? You know, I just, I, I remember him being, you know, in that little jersey. We, we, you know, I started from the time we go to bowl games, we would buy all the coaches' kids' jerseys, and I'd get them for my, for my grand, grandkids. And, and uh, I can remember him, you know, the jersey started very small. What's it like seeing him in that full-size jersey every Saturday? I love now? it. I love it. It's intercepted by Joe Ferguson. His 99-yard pick six. Did you think he was going to make it to the end zone? Yeah, I knew he was going to make it. <laughs> yeah, he, he had an escort. It was just like you're carrying a, a wounded guy yeah. <laughs> carrying him to the end zone. I mean, I'm sure you were reacting to the play. Has anyone told you how he reacted when that play happened? Well, my whole family was in the box. So they just going crazy. That's what I've heard from my mom. The room timed it when you watch the film. It was 14 seconds. <laughs> I'm not mistaken. <laughs> and his mother screamed right when he caught it, and even afterwards, she lost her voice for two days, <laughs> and I told him his grandmother pulled a hamstring. <laughs> Been around the ball a lot your senior year. Is that from watching game tape from a young age? That's probably just good, uh, good football pedigree. Grandpa played, dad played. I have athletes on both sides of my family, so yeah, I guess credit to everyone else. Do you ever take a step back and think like how cool it is you kind of experience all this together? Yeah, definitely. I think uh, one of the times I did that was when he coached in the, the bowl game and that was kind of a reality check moment of how cool is this. And uh, Ever since then it's just whenever I see him out here, even if we don't always talk, I know that he's keeping an eye on me and if I ever would need anything it's just awesome to have. It's been fun to watch him grow and mature and it makes me proud to the way he's competed and uh, matured here. He had that type of experience at a world-class university, and uh, he's going to graduate this year with a business degree. And the way this senior year has gone couldn't have been any better.